What is up? I'm Water Turtle, and today we have another PSA returns video. Um, this is a pretty large one. It's like 102 cards, if I remember correctly. I think almost all of it is Watsy, and um, yeah. So I think I had like an entire card saver one box filled with um, cards ready to be sent off to PSA. They're all Watsy, and so kind of like the way I tried to grade these or. My expectations is anything seven or above is like, yep, that made sense. Anything lower starts to get to the point like, eh, maybe I shouldn't have sent this off to PSA. Uh, at the end, of that, I don't mind it, um, but like, I wouldn't, I'd like the idea of having a PSA 7 base set collection or any WotC set. Um, and I think that's a great starting point for anyone just trying to get into the hobby and just pick up slabs. I think still think anything seven is surprisingly cheap and like the rewarding the reward that you feel completing base set even psa 7 and you'll be surprised at how cheap it is uh like obviously the charizard will be pretty expensive but um you know but that's kind of like how engaging it so we're starting off with the alexam and with eight so perfectly happy with that and um yeah I, I don't mind having as many base set slabs as possible um just so nostalgic for me where it all began for for myself didn't really have any shadowless or, or first edition cards this one is a six so um yeah kind of like eh, maybe i should have sent should not have sent this off at the end of the day it's fine especially when i got these graded it was only ten dollars um but like you know sixes or below those probably would have been fine as binder collections ah blastoise i'm not sure if we have the entire base set i'm not sure if there's a charizard in this one but we're on to number two we have, a, we have another Blastoise. This one is a five. Starters, I'm fine as long as I have copies for our binder collections. And all right, so moving on to number three, Chansey, another five. Yeah, definitely, let's just take a look at this. I mean, this is not too bad. But we got another Chansey here and this one goes down to a four. So now we're definitely in the territory of, yeah, this would, oh man, look at all this. Like, I don't even know what to call that. Um, Definitely in the territory of, you know, me two years ago. Uh, maybe we should have kept this one in the, <laughs> uh, in the binder. We have another chance. Oh, man, we got a lot of chances. A five and another chancy at a five. So chancy was a little rough. Whenever I was picking up, like, tons of raw base cards, um, chancies were tough. Gyarados at the eight. Gyarados is, I think there was like a, a theme deck with Gyarados. So I think there's a lot of Gyarados. And it's not too hard to get like eights, nines. Um, seven, perfectly happy with the seven. But then we start getting down to five. <laughs> Everyone wants this case has like, you can hear something shaking. I actually think it's this thing, not the card itself. Um, hmm, this card looks pretty good. There's a little whitening on top. Maybe there's like a slight bow or bend. Cause five feels kind of tough for this green, for this card. All right, Hitmonchan, another one that there's just so many copies out there. Excellent five, uh, yeah. Seven, perfectly okay. <laughs> Five's a little rough. And well, I suppose this doesn't really count as first edition because they are all first edition. Uh, so near mint to mint eight, to very happy with that. Ooh, I wonder if at this point we can complete a set of base set five. <laughs> it wouldn't be a very uh, coveted part of the collection. Probably would equate that similar to a binder collection. But uh, hey, more sets the better. We got excellent the mint six for Magneton. I'm not sure if we have any like nines or tens in this set. Probably maybe a couple in like some of the uh, later sets. Excellent five for the Magneton. So yeah, I think uh, no Charizard, but I feel like we're hitting most of the stuff in base set. And um, again, like check, definitely if, you know, vintage stuff just ha hits the nostalgic feels, take a look at eBay. Um, you know, I, I would suggest not going lower than seven, but just check out the prices. I bet you could pick up most of the sets for a very cheap price. I have to imagine all of them below a hundred with the exception of Charizard, obviously, um, but even like the, the other starters, I bet you can get under a hundred. I'm guessing. Um, Nine Tails, another one I believe had a theme deck, so plenty of copies out there, and uh, anything below seven, yeah. But again, for ten bucks, who cares? Uh, so we do have some Venusaur, so we have all the other starters with the exception of the Charizard. Near Mint to Mint Eight, so lovely. I'm actually not sure if I have a full set of eights, and um, here we have a five, but again, starter, so it's okay. 
That's one thing that the PSA app is actually good at. You just kind of scan all your slabs. I actually have to scan all these still. Um, and then it just helps you realize, especially if, I mean, my stuff is not super organized. Uh, just, I have too many slabs and, and not a good enough organizational system. Uh, but then it's like, oh, turns out I do have the full eight collection maybe. Uh, so after I scan these in, maybe we will have that. Um, I mean, we, we do have plenty of the Charizard, so like all the hard stuff has been already achieved. Zapdos, first legendary bird. Love this card. Happy, very happy with eights. Not so much with this excellent four. What's going on here? Um, Yeah, again, maybe there's deep scratching or a bend. Oh, okay, the bend I think is down here. So that's why I got a four. And if I missed that, that's not that surprising. Moving on to jungle. So it looks like we jump straight to number eight. So I'm not sure, or I guess I didn't have anything earlier than that. Pidgeot. Uh, Pidgeot was an interesting card because like Pidgeotto was up to Pidgeotto was in the base set um, And then Pidgeot didn't come until jungle Scyther. Oh, okay. This is actually a great card. No symbol Scyther I don't think I have too many don't have a full set of the no symbols and oh, this one has regular and um, I think what I do have I think they're around eight so happy to have this collection not sure if I needed it but no symbol, definitely on my to-do list. We have a bunch of Scythers. Your Mint Mint 8, happy with that, it's unlimited. Seven, still happy with that one. Um, I feel like the seven rule definitely applies to base. Uh, jungle and Fossil, I think seven is still acceptable, but um, I think it's that's already in the consideration. Like, uh, maybe I didn't need to send this one off. Actually, that does not count for evolutions though. There's always exceptions. Excellent, five. Now we're now we're cutting it close. Although this does look pretty good. Obviously there is some significant edge wear, but it doesn't look too bad. Another five. Oh, we have a lot of Vaporeon. Let me just take it. Alright, so that's the last Vaporeon. Always have to add evolutions, even the classic OG ones. Venomoth. Not a very sought after card, I think. Ooh, oh. This is base set two. Base set two. If you want vintage cards, I think the most vintage for your buck is base set two. And you know, the hollow pattern's kind of cool. Uh, I'm not sure where I'm at as far as base set two. We'll have to scan these in and check it out. Gyarados, base set two, five. <laughs> Actually, just to complete the set, that's probably worth sending in. We got a nice swirl up here for the Hitmonchan base set two. All right, let's see if we got some Mewtwo's. A six and eight. Uh, I do know I have a Charizard up to a 9 base set, too. Uh, I bet I'm missing some of these, like, jungle ones. Polyrath. Polyrath is another base set card is, like, just so easy to pick up at, at cheap prices. Raichu. Only a 4, but eh, we'll give a pass for Raichu. Although, this is much better with the 8. So, yeah. <laughs> I just had all these Watsy cards that, um... Yeah, just want them all graded. Moving on to fossil number one, Aerodactyl near mid seven. That's okay. Aerodactyl's pretty cool. Articuno. This is probably one, even like a six. I'm happy to add to the collection. Very happy with the eight. Haunter five is pushing it. That's okay. We did get an eight tier. So I don't think there's any special variations, just kind of first edition and unlimited. We do have some first edition, uh, but it's a Hypno and it's a five. <laughs> this is probably a good binder collection card. Kabutops. Always liked Kabutops better than Amstar. Lapras. This is, I'm pretty sure, just like, there's so many of these out there, but so hard to get in a ten. Very happy with an eight. Muck. Muck. Not much to say there. Don't have very strong feelings about Muck. Pretty similar with Arbuck. I think this, I think uh, Muck. Oh wait, now we're into Rocket, because I think this came in a theme deck. Uh, first edition though, PSA 7, pretty cool. And actually this is a pretty cool picture of Arbuck. You see that cool kind of like Cobra thing with a intimidating, um, I don't know what to call that. Just look. <laughs> first edition Dark Hypno. Dark Machamp. I think another one that's not too hard to grade. So when you get a four, ooh. Yeah, this one could have stayed in the binder. Especially when you can't see the back with the right sleeve. Dark Doug Trio. Rocket's always like, man, they have such low HP. 50 HP. 
60 for a wheezing. I think this also had a theme deck. And we got the trainers. And both eights. So I'm happy they got at least the same grade. And apparently had a Blastoise non hollow. It's like, oh yeah, let's send this bad boy. <laughs> we got a four. It is first edition. And uh, I mean, there is a lot of edge wear on that. Um, so I guess. I feel like it's a little bit better than the four though. Koga's B drill. What? How did you get a three? I bet there's like a bend, significant bend. Uh, maybe it's a little bit in this corner. Three, three seems pretty tough, but when we're that low, we're splitting hairs. And a three for the Rockets Moltres. This would definitely be better as a binder card. But for 10 bucks, no regrets. All right, we're moving on to the Neo era. I think these are actually cards I had back in early 2000s, just from like a random, what few packs I did pick up. Um, so these have a little sentimental value, even though they're kind of like, eh, you know, these aren't the best Pokemon of the set. Polyrath. Unknown, nothing too special there. I think there's a lot of these out there. This card is upside down for whatever reason. Back to the Magnemite. Um, unlimited, five. Okay, so now we got some pretty rough grades. This card I know I had, like it was just from my own personal collection. So even though it's only seven, it is first edition. Got a nice swirl, so happy with that. Heracross was pretty cool Pokemon. I always thought, um, you know, the OG site there and Pinsir were a little bit cooler. Um, who do you fight? Did you fight a Pinsir? I can't remember. It's where you like flip them up in the show. Uh, a jump Jumpluff? I think Jumpluff is pretty abundant, pretty easy to pick up. Like when it comes to pick up Neo, like low hanging fruit, I think I feel like jump Jumpluff is always, <laughs> always one that's like, ah, well it's Neo 2000 and so I'll just pick it up at a cheap price. Ooh, three, that's a little rough, but it's okay. We got the near mint, mint eight. And the starter rule does apply to Neo as well. So happy to pick up the Ganyum. And a random energy. Eh, at least it's got a swirl. All right, Neo Rev, PSA five, Houndoom. Very cool Pokemon, very cool art. So even though it's only five, fine with that. Porygon two, another Pokemon I always kind of liked. It's got a swirl on the back of his head. And eight. Okay, looks like we're going on to Black Star promo, starting with number one, Pikachu. And we're gonna go right in line. Number two, Electabuzz from the movie. Uh, only a five for the Dragonite. Follow with a three. And I think most of these are gonna be promos from here on out. And there's so many of these out there. So five feels pretty weak, um, even at the $10 price point. We sent a bunch of these and they all graded pretty poorly. All right, what's this one? How did you get this one? I don't remember. Uh, good too. What was I thinking? I maybe the thought was you don't have this graded yet, so just to check that box. But uh, maybe I should know. <laughs> just gonna back up this. We're getting running low on space. Mewtwo. I think this one was also from something about the movie still with the Mew and Mewtwo. Weird art. We do have an eight. Here's another like classic card that everyone needs in their collection, um, preferably with a higher grade. The Ancient Mew card, very cool. And it just looks so cool. Like at the time, it's like, wow, this thing is incredible. Uh, five is rough. I'm not sure if I have a 10, but uh, definitely one that's, oh, I think there's plenty out there. All right, I think these are still um, the birds, kind of like they all, form like a single picture. Um, guessing it's kind of like this. Then we got the So seven, eight, eight, pretty happy with those grades. I don't think I have all tens yet, is it? I don't remember. But somehow they're supposed to all combine. I think I have at least a couple in 10. You know the Zapdos. Entei, very cool looking card, kind of like unique. It was like a reverse, uh, hollow. But I think another one where there's plenty of copies out there. Oh, all right, so we do have some Charizard. Maybe this had the full base set. I wasn't paying that close attention. Only a five here. Actually, this is pretty typical for, for my return. Ooh, an eight, very nice. Um, for me to, all right, here's the, the submission. And at the end of it, let's just tack on some Charizards. Seven, very happy with that. Anything, I think uh, for these like bulk orders that $10 right when it ended, anything like eight, even seven, I think they upcharge for, um, 
five is a little rough. And finishing up with another base head Zard. So we did get up to a eight, probably like the most valuable card in this submission. But yeah, all these Watsy cards, um, with some exceptions, happy to add to my collection. I'm gonna scan these in, see where we're at at completing, you know, all the different levels for, especially base set unlimited, and maybe base set two, just to see where we're at. So, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, show a huge shout out to all the patrons out there. If there's any gaps you have in your own collection that these can help fill, just hit me up, and we'll definitely work something out. And thanks for watching. I'm Wanna Turtle. I'll catch you all next time. Peace.